Hi everybody, David here. Thank you for watching Crazy Narcissist Ex-Girlfriend. Today I'm going to answer a question that I get uh, a lot lately. I mean, this is the question of the month, at least. Um, why do I still miss my ex? After everything you know, everything you've learned, uh, all the bullshit you realize that they've done to you, um, you see it all, you've been away from them for long enough now to, to understand kind of what happened, they're pieces of shit, they're, they're with someone else, they don't want anything to do with you, you don't want them back, but why do you still miss them? Well, there's lots of different things going on, and I made a video um, about, about the reptilian brains, and uh, I'll put it up top for a link to go watch it. I recommend you go watch it because it's going to help you understand a lot um, of what your brain's doing now. So I, in that video, I talked about the reptilian brain. You have a brain stem. You have, and that's what all reptiles have. And, and it's kind of similar to ours. Uh, a lot of the same functioning. And then you have a mammal brain that goes over that as we evolved into mammals. And then... Uh, and all mammals have this kind of brain and us and then we added a third part That's the human brain and that's the cerebral cortex and that's your thinking and reasoning brain So I'm going to talk about I'm going to group it into two parts and you've got your human brain And you've got the rest of your brain that all other animals have and that's so this is what separates us from the rest of all other animals This is our human part of our brain and it's thinks and it reasons, okay? <clears throat> Basically, your reptile brain, your, your animal brain reacts, okay? And you have a, a, something in it called your amygdala, and your amygdala responds to stress, and it's a fight or flight, you know? And it's good, it's good to have that, right? And it reacts faster, so it reacts quicker. So certain things you guys do all the time, all humans, we will react real quick and it's, it goes against what we believe in, right? Because our reasoning brain realizes, oh, we shouldn't have done that. We wish we hadn't done that. I reacted too quickly. And that's, that's your animal brain reacting too fast. And your human brain doesn't get a chance to respond or reason with it and say, oh, no, don't do it. You reacted too fast for your human brain because you, your, man, your animal brain reacts quicker. It's just like soldiers that go to war. When they're at war and they're getting attacked all the time and they're, and they're fighting and killing and they're always you know, looking over their shoulder and wonder if they're going to get bombed or they're listening to bombs going off, they're constantly in their animal brain their reactionary brain, and it's good, they need to be, right? But it's just 24 hours a day, they're in their reactionary brain, watching for danger, listening to danger, you know, trying to save their own lives, right? And that's why they come back with PTSD, because they've been in it so long, right, that they come back and it doesn't switch off, because that human or that animal brain that reacts doesn't know that you're safe now doesn't know that you're back home and everything's okay. It's used to responding, reacting, reacting, reacting. Used it, they used it for so long, it's hard to get out of that. It, it, the, the human brain, it's hard for their human brain to take over and reason. Okay? So, it, it's, it's just like, okay, and then imagine our brains react this way Anyways, and like I said earlier about our, we react to things that we wish we didn't, you know. Um, married people will see someone attractive and we know they're attractive. It's not that we're not attracted to somebody else. I mean, we can, we can see and identify that someone is attractive. And sometimes married people will look. They'll just see someone walk in real quick, super attractive, they'll look, check them out, and they'll go, oh, wait a minute. This part of their brain takes over and says, oh, no, you're married, you don't want that. Don't even look, you're going to get in trouble, she's going to fucking, she's, you're going to have it tonight. You know, you're going to get it. But that's our anim animal brain reacting really quick, and it reacts quicker and faster. So our brain, our human brain didn't get the chance to stop us, you know, sometimes. It just happens. That's the way we are. That's, that's the problem we have. 
um, because of our reactionary brain reacts so fast. Even when we're happily married and this doesn't have a chance to take over, right? So, when you're emotionally abused for a long time, you're in that animal brain. It's survival. And your amygdala is swollen and shrinking and swollen and shrinking and releasing toxic uh, stress chemicals all the time. And you're used to that all the time, all the time. You're used to that kind of stress and your brain's thinking out of that reactionary part of your brain, your animal part of the brain, okay? The, when it's good and your amygdala sh uh, swells, when it's good, you have endorphins in your brain when the, when the relationship's good. So when he tells you you're a lousy piece of fucking shit and walks out the door and doesn't, you don't know where he is, you're releasing tons of stress chemicals, blah, 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 blah. Then he comes back. Everything's okay now. He loves, says he loves you, whatever. Those go away. You release endorphins in your brain. When the relationship is over, your endorphins are not being released. You have none. You have no endorphins. And you have tons of stress in your brain. You are now thinking still out of your animal brain. Okay? You know, your endorphins are gone. Your stress chemicals are high. And that's what we translate it to as we miss them. We have thoughts all day long. Our thoughts are not who we are. Our thoughts are merely ideas our brain comes up with. But we use our human brain and say, oh, no, we're not going to do that. You know, our animal brain wants to run the person off the road in front of us that cut us off. But our human brain says, oh, no, not a good idea. <laughs> we might die. They might die. We go to jail, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So when... You think you miss them, that's just a thought. It's just a thought out of your animal part of your brain and use your human part of your brain to reason and think and say, nope, I don't miss them. Because that's all it is. That's all it is. Do things to raise your endorphins. Do things to lower your stress. That's why I always say first stage, first step of this recovery is total stress-free environment. Okay? That means no more narcissists, no more stress. Let your brain heal and use reason. Inform this thing. And put, put all the information you can in there about narcissists. So when you have these animal reactionary thoughts that we do all day, and one of them says, you miss your narc, and this says, no, you don't. And this thought will stop. Okay? So you don't miss them, right? You miss the endorphins. You're, you want the stress chemicals to go away. You want it to be that neat little idea you thought it was that they, they sold you. And it's not. And you know that. So I don't need to keep telling you. But uh, it's simple brain chemicals. It's what part of your brain are you using, okay? So you create a stress-free environment. You stop thinking out of your animal brain, right? Just like a soldier creates a stress-free environment and eventually his brain shuts that part down. You're not in war anymore, buddy. You're not in war anymore. The war is over. Okay, they stopped abusing you. So just let your brain heal. Give it time. Okay? Thanks, guys. Any questions you have, go down below and ask me. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe. Share the video with somebody else. And love yourself first, okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.